Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so desire. So today we are going to focus on what is the number one way to determine if your relationship will last right after this. Alright fam, thanks so much for coming back. So you guys know that I love to read a lot. This one I actually took notes on and wrote some things down. This is not my information, but I thought that it was definitely, definitely, definitely good enough to come here and share with you guys. So I'm not going to keep you guys in suspense because the number one to predict if you will stay with your partner or not is the way you guys actually argue. I mean, let's just think about that. If I am the person who is in argument with you, and I'm the one who's yelling, I'm screaming, I'm name calling, or or physically being abusive to you, or throwing things and punching walls and you know destroying things in the house, how long are you gonna want to stay in that argument with me, in that relationship with me, in that house with me? It won't be long before you are looking for an exit. And especially if this is the behavior that is going on time and time and time again. That gets old real quick. If you don't know, most of us, all of us, okay? I want to say all. Some people like drama. Most of us don't like the drama. Most of us do not want to come to our castle, our homes, with the one that we love, with our families, and always in turmoil with them. We get enough crap outside of our four walls. We get enough crap from everybody throwing all of their crap at, at us. We're getting pulled in every direction that you can think of, right? When I come to my castle, I want to be chilling. But that's my personality anyway. Like, all that drama, that ain't for me. That's for somebody else. That ain't for me. And so... Um, Dr. Gottman, which is the person about all of the things I'm going to read to you, I can give pay homage to him. He basically calls them the four horsemen. <laughs> he basically calls them the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And they are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling in your relationship. And this is when you guys are or how you guys are arguing. If you're stonewalling, you being super um, um, uh, critical, uh, in contempt, or um, being very defensive. So anyway, so criticizing your partner is different than offering a critique or voicing a complaint. The latter two are about specific issues, whereas the former is an attack. It is an attack on your partner at the core of, her, of their character. <coughs> The problem with criticism is that when it becomes pervasive, it paves the way for the other, far deadlier horsemen to follow. It makes the victim feel assaulted, rejected, and hurt, and often causes the perpetrator and fall, um, excuse me, and victim to fall into an escalating pattern where the first horseman reappears with greater and greater frequency and intensity, which eventually leads to contempt, which is horseman number two. When we communicate in this state, we are truly mean. We treat others with disrespect. We mock them with sarcasm. We ridicule them, call them names, and mimic or use body language such as rolling those eyes or scuffing. The target of contempt is made to feel despised and worthless. Contempt goes beyond criticism. Contempt actually assumes a position of moral superiority over them. Contempt is fueled by long-simmering negative thoughts about your partner, which comes to a head when the perpetrator attacks the accused from a position of relative superiority. Most importantly, contempt is the single greatest predictor of divorce. Let me read that to you again. Most importantly, contempt is the single greatest predictor of divorce. It must be eliminated, which actually leads to point number three, which is defensiveness. And it is typically 
typically a response to criticism. So usually the defense would actually not be there if you were not criticizing your partner. So they pretty much go hand in hand. Um, we've all been defensive and this horseman is nearly omnipresent omnipresent when relationships are on the rocks when we feel unjustly accused we fish for ex excuses and play the innocent victim so that our partner will back off unfortunately this strategy is almost never successful our excuses just tell our partner that we don't take their concerns seriously and what we won't take respond and we won't take responsibility for our mistakes defensiveness will only escalate the conflict if the critical spouse does not back down or if they do not apologize this is because defensiveness is really a way of blaming your partner and it wouldn't um, allow for a healthy conflict management which leads to horseman number four which is stonewalling um, this is it. This is in a response to contempt as well. Stonewalling occurs when the listener withdraws from the interaction, shuts down, and simply stops responding to their partner. Okay, you need that again? Okay, cool. It's when the listener withdraws from the interaction, shuts down, and simply stops responding to their partner. Rather than confronting the issue with their partner, people who stonewall can make evasive maneuvers such as tuning them out, turning away, acting busy, or engaging in obsessive or distracting behaviors, obviously on purpose. Unfortunately, you think that you're doing something with stonewalling, but you really ain't because stonewalling is, once you start doing it, it's actually not easy to stop doing it. This has to be a learned practice because it is a result of feeling physiologically flooded. And when we stonewall, we may not even be in a physiological state where we can discuss things rationally. Yeah. And uh, you know what? I don't want this video to get too long. So there will be a part two, which is the antidotes to the four horsemen. Again, the four horsemen are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. So come back tomorrow and you will get the antidote to the four horsemen. Again, the number one way to decipher if your relationship, if your marriage will last is how you argue.